I'm Todd Grisham, and there's nothing quite like the Empire Fight Camp, especially at night. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure. It's Ro Patrick the Patriot Rokol. And now we toss it. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds. Lots of hype as they will fight into... These athletes have promised us a war. Let's see if they deliver. Both men step back for just a moment. He prevents that left uppercut from scoring. The crowd is dressed to impress here tonight, and the fighters promise to do the same as we cannot wait for this, our main event. We've been in everything tonight, and you know what? When you're in a the theater, you know you've got to perform. There's no cutting corners. There's no making of excuses because you're going to be so transparent. You're laid out there. When are we going to see a jab from these two? The perfect counter lands. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. There's a counter shot. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. If you're fighting a counter puncher, you've got to dummy a shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every twist. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get it. Kitchen sink. Here we go for round two. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Jab. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. To beat a counter puncher, you've got to take them out of their pace. Do not wait for them because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop you all night long. Rush them. and shoot with the left counter. Good job. It's obvious the spider is gassed out. Why sit in there and throw punches? Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. That counter shot lands. Good punch.
left counter punch will score. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. for them finally comes to a close. The bell sometimes. And there's the bell for round three. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They're going to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. They exchange punches. Should we be surprised if these two fighters go the distance tonight considering how much they've emphasized their physical fitness? The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour is a heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace, you can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in this year. You know the amazing fights with a middleweight are oh, ridiculous. That is what rights are issue with. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Neither man really defending themselves. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got. Oh my goodness. I admire these guys. You'd like to see more jabs. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you can't think of You've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fagin and pickpocket them. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? And there's the bell for round four. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. they defending lands with the right counter you can tell he's stronger but he's not faster that left counter was perfectly timed how did they survive that Fighters certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. It's the one who draws first blood talk. That's what you've got to look at. If you've hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. These two are the perfect dance partners. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Catch and shoot. Exchange here from both men. Why sit in the pocket when your punches are this slow? Punch counter. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. A perfect counter shot. That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. Back 
into the fray here in round five. Coming off a very tough round. Let's see what they do here. On the right. This is a high octane battle. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. Caution is being thrown to the wind. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Nice counter shot with the right hand. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. What would you tell this guy if he's got to do something different? Wow, it's like two different leagues. Let's start the six. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire with fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Beautiful counter punch. Neither man really defending themselves. And he fails to score with that left hook. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense as training kick. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that. You've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. Come on, look at the now. See it and ride it out. Go out there and finish it. It's so important now in the first minute of this next round to get on top of this. Round seven, here we go. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? Ah. 
Timing beats speed, speed beats power. And counter punching. Beautiful counter shot. He just misses with that jab. Counter punch. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get caught to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close round. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice counter punch. He threw the hook, didn't land. Left counter scores. Neither man really defending themselves. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more in Oh, Patrick Rothall right now stumbling around. Good job trying to back out of trouble. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. And a counter left. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. Enter the eighth round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Punching from both these fighters. And that left lands. He blocks the hook. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Good counter right hand again. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Great counter right hand there. That punch lands. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. eternity for them finally comes to a close. Wow, you know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up the ring away, you walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. And we enter the night. Let's see if they have a plan B after last round. Let's 
Both men step back for just a moment. Nice counter. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Hand there. Nice exchange here from both men. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain there. Nice job by him to block that jab. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. He's gone. I'm telling you, he's gone. Jump up. Body in it. Feet smart. Clean your handles. Go out there and finish it. He's ready. Here's the bell to start round 10. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. He can't score with that uppercut. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Hard. We know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. He just misses with that big right hand. That one will count. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Good left counter that lands. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. And score with that left hand. Missed him with that uppercut. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? He needs a knockout without a doubt. He needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get it. Kitchen sink. Every time you see him, take a big deep breath. 
banging devil. Don't put the jab and don't get carried away. Come back with the pencil and what you There's the bell to start round 11. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? Nice counter shot. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per run. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. Nice counter shot. They both want a highlight reel knockout. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Can't connect with that right hook. These two are the perfect dance partners. They both want the knockout. Imagine being a judge here. How can you judge these? What shots are being thrown? There's no sense there. The corners are going mad. Trying to plead with a fight to behave. Step back, settle down. Counterpunching for both these athletes. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there, they want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots, get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up. There's the bell for round 12. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Punch, counter punch. What a punch. It's defend yourself at all times, but this fighter hasn't defended themselves at all. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. Well, you've been a fast fighter. They will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and says, Can he do it? What a massive upset this would be. He's got him right where he wants him. Now what? Can he close the show? And they figure out the combination to this sink. He almost saw a knockout a second ago, and now they're going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Step back, compose yourself, compose the pace, then move, then step it up a little bit. Because if you're getting caught like that beginning, you'll get caught a lot more at the end. I think this fighter realizes that defense is one of the scoring criteria in boxing. No rest for the weary. We'd like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. A very competitive round with 10 seconds. Big shot and Rocco has to go down. You see many shots like that. A simple, simple short shot. Put the fighter down. Judges have spoken a unanimous decision victory. What a whitewash. You know, that's skills, that's class, that's levels. One is up there, one is down there, but you know what? The loser is going to have to learn, learn a big, big hard lesson. 
I totally agree.